The skies above Bengaluru are alive with the roar of jet engines. Aero India 2025 is more than just an air show. It's a strategic chessboard. Nations gather, showcasing their latest aerial weaponry. The stakes have never been higher. For India, the event represents a critical juncture in its military modernization. The spotlight shines brightest on two titans of the sky, the American F-35 Lightning II and the Russian Su-57 Felon. Their presence signifies a new era of aerial combat, one dominated by stealth technology and advanced weaponry. This isn't just about technological prowess, it's about geopolitical influence. The United States and Russia are vying for India's favor, recognizing the country's growing importance in the Indo-Pacific region. India's decision on which fighter jet to acquire will have far-reaching consequences, shaping the balance of power for decades to come. The F-35, a technological marvel, represents the cutting edge of American military might. Its sleek design and advanced systems make it a formidable opponent in the skies. On the other hand, the Su-57, Russia's answer to the F-35, boasts raw power and maneuverability. It's a testament to Russia's legacy of building tough, capable fighter jets. Both aircraft are designed for air superiority, but their approaches differ significantly. The F-35 prioritizes stealth and sensor fusion, allowing it to detect and engage enemies before being seen. The Su-57, while not as stealthy, emphasizes speed and agility, making it a potent threat in close-range dogfights. The competition between these two aircraft is fierce, with each side claiming superiority. The F-35 has a proven track record having been adopted by several nations. The Su-57, while newer and less tested, offers a compelling alternative, particularly for countries seeking a more cost-effective option. India, caught in the middle of this technological tug-of-war, faces a difficult choice. It must carefully weigh the strengths and weaknesses of each aircraft, considering its own strategic needs and budget constraints. In the realm of stealth technology, the F-35 reigns supreme. Its design incorporates advanced materials and shaping techniques that minimize its radar cross-section. This makes it incredibly difficult for enemy radars to detect, giving it a significant advantage in combat. The F-35's stealth capabilities are not limited to its physical design. It also incorporates advanced electronic warfare systems that jam enemy radars and disrupt their communications. This multi-layered approach to stealth ensures that the F-35 can operate with impunity in contested airspace. The Su-57, while making strides in stealth technology, still lags behind the F-35. Its design incorporates some radar-absorbent materials, but its overall shape and engine configuration make it more detectable. This difference in stealth capabilities could prove decisive in a head-to-head -head confrontation. For India, facing the threat of advanced Chinese and Pakistani air defenses, stealth is a crucial factor to consider. The F-35's superior stealth capabilities would provide a significant advantage, allowing it to penetrate enemy airspace with relative ease. While the F-35 excels in stealth, the Su-57 shines in maneuverability. Its powerful engines and thrust vectoring nozzles allow it to perform incredible aerial acrobatics. This agility makes it a formidable opponent in close-range dogfights, where speed and maneuverability are paramount. The Su-57's agility is not just about looking impressive, it has practical applications in combat. It allows the aircraft to quickly change direction and evade enemy missiles. It can also get into position for optimal weapons firing solutions, giving it an edge in a dogfight. The F-35, while not as maneuverable as the Su-57, is no slouch either. It's designed to be a highly capable dogfighter, with excellent turn rates and a high angle of attack. However, its emphasis on stealth has come at the expense of some maneuverability. India, operating in the geographically diverse region of South Asia, needs an aircraft that can handle a variety of combat scenarios. The Su-57's maneuverability would be a valuable asset in the tight confines of the Himalayan mountains or the open skies over the Indian Ocean. Section 5. Sensory Overload, Avionics and Beyond The F-35 and Su-57 are more than just flying machines, they are flying sensor platforms. They are packed with advanced radars, electronic warfare systems and data links that provide pilots with an unparalleled level of situational awareness. The F-35 sensor suite is particularly impressive. Its AN-APG-81 radar is one of the most advanced in the world. 
capable of detecting and tracking targets at long ranges. It also incorporates a Distributed Aperture System, or DAS, that provides a 360-degree view of the battle space. The Su-57 sensor suite, while not as advanced as the F-35s is still highly capable. Its N036 Bielka radar is a powerful system that provides long-range detection and tracking. It also incorporates an infrared search and track system, or IRS, that can detect and track aircraft without emitting any radar signals. In modern warfare, information is key. The aircraft with the better sensors and data processing capabilities will have a decisive advantage. The F-35, with its advanced sensor fusion and networking capabilities, currently holds the edge in this regard. Section 6, Arsenal of the Future, Weapons and Warfare. The F-35 and Su-57 are designed to deliver a wide range of weapons with precision and lethality. They can carry a mix of air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and bombs making them versatile platforms for a variety of missions. The F-35's internal weapons bays allow it to carry its payload internally, maintaining its stealth profile. It can carry a variety of air-to-air -air missiles including the AIM-120 AMRAM and the AIM-9X Sidewinder. It can also carry precision-guided bombs such as the GBU-31 JDAM and the GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb. The Su-57 with its larger size can carry a heavier payload than the F-35. It can carry a mix of air-to-air -air missiles including the R-77 and the R-37M. It can also carry a variety of air-to-ground missiles and bombs, including the KH-38 and the KB-500. The choice of weapon systems is crucial for any air force. India, facing a variety of potential threats, needs an aircraft that can deliver a wide range of ordnance with precision and effectiveness. Both the F-35 and Su-57 offer a compelling mix of weapons capabilities. Section 7, India's Choice, A Balancing Act. India's decision on whether to acquire the F-35 or the Su-57 is a complex one. It involves a delicate balancing act between strategic considerations, budgetary constraints and technological aspirations. There is no easy answer, and each choice comes with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. The F-35, with its advanced stealth capabilities, sensor fusion and networking capabilities, represents the pinnacle of modern fighter jet technology it would provide India with a significant technological edge over its rivals, particularly China and Pakistan. However, it comes with a hefty price tag, and its acquisition could strain India's defense budget. The Su-57, while not as technologically advanced as the F-35, offers a compelling alternative. It boasts raw power, maneuverability, and a lower cost. Its acquisition would allow India to maintain a large fleet of modern fighter jets without breaking the bank. However, it would mean compromising on stealth and sensor capabilities. India's decision will have far-reaching consequences, shaping the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific region for decades to come. It's a decision that requires careful consideration and a clear-eyed assessment of India's strategic priorities. Section 8. Beyond the dogfight, a broader perspective. The F-35 versus Su-57 debate often focuses on their individual capabilities. But it's crucial to remember that modern warfare is rarely a one-on-one -on -one affair. These aircraft operate as part of a larger network of sensors, communication systems, and command and control nodes. The F-35, with its advanced data links and networking capabilities, is designed to operate seamlessly within a network-centric warfare environment. It can share real-time sensor data with other aircraft, ground stations, and naval vessels, creating a common operating picture that enhances situational awareness and coordination. The Su-57, while making strides in networking capabilities, still lags behind the F-35 in this regard. It's primarily designed to operate as a standalone platform, relying on its own sensors and weapon systems. This could put it at a disadvantage in a network-centric warfare environment, where the ability to share information and coordinate attacks is crucial. India, as it modernizes its armed forces, is increasingly embracing network-centric warfare concepts. The choice between the F-35 and Su-57 will have implications for India's ability to integrate these aircraft into its evolving network-centric warfare capabilities. Section 9. The Skies Above, A Decision for the Future. As the sun sets on Aero India 2025, the roar of jet engines fades into the distance. The F-35 and Su-57 titans of the sky have put on a spectacular display of aerial prowess. 
but the real competition has just begun. India's decision on which aircraft to acquire will reverberate for decades to come. It's a decision that will shape the future of Indian air power and influence the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific region. The world is watching, eager to see which way India will turn. The choice is not an easy one. It's a choice between two different visions of air power, two different technological approaches and two different strategic partnerships. But it's a choice that India must make, for the skies above are calling. Please share, like and subscribe to my channel.